Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Oh, amazing, we've got a streak of one. Incredible. My favorite. Maggie, though. Now I'm, like, losing patience when we don't have a freaking item room right next to us. It's like, oh, this is gonna take forever. JYHG NPTQ. Let's do this. Hmm. Well, I gotta say, it's probably a one run already. I'm joking. I'm kidding. But we do have a really good head start in terms of our HP as Maggie, obviously. I don't understand the Maggie hate. I've gone off on this on a couple of different occasions. She's slow? Like, that's the problem? No big deal, man. Rel everybody's got problems, except for Isaac. Isaac is not the most well-rounded character. People are always like, if you want the most well-rounded character, go for Isaac. Isaac's like a jack-of-all-trades. Isaac is overpowered as hell. Lots of HP and one of the best starting items in the game. It's not a representative character. The jack of all trades is definitely Eden. Probably the average character is maybe Kane now. Two HP and a good luck stat. I think that's that's pretty solid. And by solid, I don't mean good. I mean like maybe the average character in the game. All the other characters have a weird kind of like non vanillaness to them that makes them, you know, harder for new players, I guess. Isaac without the D6, though, I'll admit, is is probably your vanilla character. It's nice to have the extra HP anyway. We will go back and get that key. Just temporarily. I'm thinking that we'll uh, try to clear out these rooms as quick as possible in advance. Two long rooms stacked on top of one another. And I, I'll take the one less traveled by. I was, I was gonna say that that was, I was gonna make a Fred Durst joke. I was gonna be like, that's Robert Durst. But then, freaking actual Robert Durst had to go and ruin that joke for everybody. And also, you know, possibly kill that person. So... Thanks a lot, you ruined what was going to be my momentum garnering joke in The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. That's probably not the thing you are most guilty of. Well, I don't know. You know, innocent until proven guilty, I suppose. But, uh, I suppose. I suppose the foundation of our, you know, democratic and lawful society is something we should pay attention to. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's get more controversial. Hey, do you put your toilet paper, uh, paper side up or paper side down? I, I'll admit that I, I still don't understand this discussion. Nick and I have talked about it on the show a few times. Mm, I'll take it, even though it ends up getting me killed an awful lot these days. Uh, I still don't get it. What do you mean to put your toilet paper? It doesn't matter. You just use it. It's just toilet paper. You use it. Blood rights. I'll have the crab juice. Now we get a speed downgrade. Fitting. Flippin' fitting. But we do have the D6 now, so we're a very slow, tanky Isaac with Bob's brain. And a wig. This is pretty much where we're at right here. People are like, if you put your toilet paper, uh, paper side down, you're a savage. I don't, I don't get it, man. I never actually realized that this was not just like an internet joke thing. Until people actually, st not that people are like gonna throw a brick through your window and be like, Team paper side up, but like really. It's not like paper side up, it's like where, what, does it go inside, does the paper go inside or outside of the roll? It's weird. I know, and see I can't even explain it because I don't understand it. Oh, yeah, definitely make sure you actually get ball of bandages as we head down to the next floor. People try to tell me, oh, if you put the paper on the one side, if you pull on it, it just never stops rolling. I think that's bullshit. I think that's, uh, that's an ignorance of how physics actually work. And I'm not ashamed to, to call people savages for things that are ridiculous. For example, if you eat your sandwiches with, um, you know, like Wonder Bread, and you put ketchup on it, and you let the ketchup bleed into the bread and make that weird-ass kind of, like, tomatoey bread that is gross, and it turns into, like, a... Like, it's not a solid or a liquid anymore, it's just some kind of weird amalgam, a, a slurry of disgustingness. You are a, a... you're a goddamn savage. You're not actually a savage. I'd still... You know, I'd, I'd, I'd have dinner with you. I'd just make sure we're eating out, because that's disgusting. Um, but the toilet paper thing, I just have never... I've never understood it. Two of clubs. Acceptable. Obviously, triple shot makes this uh, a much better run than it was mere moments ago. We're actually in a great position as long as... Well, it, we're in a great position. Full stop. But we would be in a better position if we could get a deal with the devil on this floor. Which actually seems completely plausible. Now we get four bombs out of that. Um, admittedly, this is bad. Because I can't shoot. <laughs> if I shoot, Bob's brain's gonna blow me up. There we go. We made it happen. We've done it. We're the greatest. I'm the best man. I did it. We're gonna head into this room. We're gonna pop two of clubs. We're gonna blow up our donation machine. And then we're gonna be fine. There's our spirit heart, and as long as we can, like, use Bob's brain constructively here, this should be pretty easy. 
But we'll see who we're actually fighting or what we're actually fighting. It is the Haunt. So against the Haunt, we'll probably try like one Bob's Brain right off the bat. Almost got the job done. There we go. Then we'll try some bombs here. Bomb's Brain. One more hit should do it. That was a great shot on your part. I will give you that. And we're going to hope for like a speed upgrade from the Haunt. As, as boring as that sounds, that would also save us a lot of problems in the future of this game. But we're not going to have any problems killing the Haunt. You know, when all three shots land, that's like 5% of his HP right there. Bob's brain is like 30. Got more HP, also fine. Dead cat and headless baby. Um, so this is unusual. We're going to take dead cat, but I... I don't want to take Headless Baby first. I actually want to re-roll it because I don't think Headless Baby is that good. I know we're technically getting it for free, but I want to take the extra chance to get something a little better at an expense. So we'll take it, re-roll it, and we get Abaddon. I'll admit that worked out amazingly. It easily couldn't have, or it easily could have not worked out amazingly. You can't make couldn't there. The conjunction doesn't make sense, but um, that worked out for us. If we just gotten a shitty item, it would have been much better for us to take Headless Baby for free, obviously, because Headless Baby's not bad. But I was thinking we could really benefit from having something a little bit more, you know, feasty. You know, trying to do the feast or famine thing. And we, uh, we lucked out. It was a bit of a dice roll, but, uh, you know, a calculated, or a, a risk that's calculated is not necessarily a bad decision in all situations, you know. We, uh, we did well there. I'm happy with how that worked. How could I not be, of course, but now we are Isaac with a lot of damage, Bob's brain still, and the uh, still a troubling lack of speed, but barring complete catastrophe, this is looking really good right now. X-ray goggles are fine. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for, was the secret room directly below us, and we have enough bombs for sure to stake a claim at maybe getting a mini mush, magic mush, or just a good assortment of pills here. Are you a wizard? Tears down. Health up. Bad gas. Uh, was it worth it? Probably. Tears down for a health up that's unfilled. Plus we got all the information. Not a not an easy decision, but not necessarily terrible. I'll admit the tears down is kind of a piss off. Oh come on. There we go. Um, and by kind of a piss off, I mean like really annoying. But luckily we did get Abaddon, so our damage is good. Luckily Bob's brain, you know, fires straight regardless. Well, this guy's like super quick. He's disrupting my normal patterns here. Uh, what does the scanner say about his power level? So it's, it's pretty high. Um, can't bring myself to follow through. Good stuff. Another key could go to our shop, but there's not really much of a point, I think. Probably better off just saving our key for the item room on the next floor. Bob's brain has just recently gone off. We're going to have to use it, but that's okay. And inside of our second secret room, we get Bible Tract, which I'm going to ignore because I don't want to give ourselves greater angel chance. Bible Tract may just give us better spirit hard chance, but I don't want to risk it right now. Uh, which, again, is one of those moments where my ignorance when it comes to trinket mechanics comes into play. But, you know, if it, my general feeling right now is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's stick with what we got going on. Tears down is bad. Hematomesis is fine, and we get a two of clubs, which I'll use right away. I'll take bad gas with me. I have to find him immediately with Mega Ma. That was the worst damage I've taken so far this run, but it's probably not the last damage I'm going to take largely as a result of my own inability to use Bob's brain effectively. So, hey, there's something I've never considered. The hoppers are actually blocking some of the fires that are coming out of Mega Ma right now. That's... Surprisingly useful. Please give me a tears upgrade in some shape or form. Ghost Baby gets rerolled into Guppy's Collar, which is beautiful because it gives us a, a possible Guppy lead on our next deal with the devil. Let's take some extra chances at mushrooms and pills. Nothing there, so I think we head down to the next floor, honestly. If we become Guppy, the tears downgrades are not as relevant. We're okay. Gotta make sure we're landing Bob's brain as much as possible. I mean, our damage is not bad. It's just a tears down combined with triple shot has really, it's weakened me here. We'll go see what's going on inside of our shop here. That's not a shop, that's an arcade. Why would I think that's a shop? There was a slot machine or, no, it was a joystick on the cover. Should have been a little easier to divine. 
See if we can land this Bob's brain in such a way that we can get a mushroom out of it. I don't think that's... Yeah, that was dumb. We killed them all, but we took damage in the process that we definitely did not need to take. Sad when you're this deep and your best DPS option still happens to be Ball of Bandages. Uh, he shot at me without ever opening his face. I'm going to take that as, as a, just a staggering in indignity. Um, but we're still uh, doing completely fine here. Take our blue map. We'll uh, blow up our donation machine to buy our key. I think that's acceptable so we can still get to our item room. And just leave those guys behind. Credit card. Okay, that's fine because we can use this on a deal with the devil. Of course, it might have been better on the shop, but whatever. We paid seven cents for blue map. It's it's not the most valued uh, focus play to use it in that situation. So we already had kind of like a temporary steam sale there. That went fine. I'm starting to think that you know, even if we don't get any tiers upgrades, we might be able to rock this damage all run. I'd really rather not, though. Should get that. Um, and we're really going to slow down. That's the other thing I'd like to throw out there, is that our speed is, is just killing us in the get to boss rush department. Mind you, um, we don't have to. It's not an essential... Like, this is not a streak. That would be a terrible streak. How many runs in a row can we get to boss rush? Probably end up dying very early on those. Um, well, we'll see how we do against Mega Fatty here. I'd really like to... I would sacrifice, like, some hearts to kill Mega Fatty faster. But, uh, yeah, we don't we don't have to get the boss rush to feel okay with this. We still got, like, three minutes on this floor until we feel like we're a little bit out of time, so... I've got nothing to fear. I just wish that maybe we could have a little bit more potency. But doesn't every man wish for that at one point in his or her life? Oh, that was not what I was looking for there. And what I was looking for there was actually like a half-decent dodge. Okay, good stuff. 100% of the way done. We are solid. Two extra bombs for me. I'm still, I'm kind of like in a holding pattern as far as commentary goes. Because I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta get something better. You know, I gotta, I gotta get something from a deal with the devil. But it's a bit troubling. Just the slightest bit troubling. Because we really should not get a deal with the devil on this floor. We don't deserve one. Uh, well, I mean, we, we haven't taken red hard damage and we won't take red hard damage. But we got one on the last two floors and they contained items. So we're, we're really eating the penalty as much as we possibly can here. Um, if the game found it in the goodness of its heart to give us one, I would be thrilled, though, I have to admit. Because... I'm at the point where I'm, like, not only tempted to use ball of bandages, I'm, like, still using ball of bandages all the time. Admittedly, we have a great run on paper. But the run isn't played on paper. It's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep coming. In all sincerity, the run is, like, one tier's upgrade away from me never having to use my ball of bandages. But, unfortunately, we got a tier's downgrade instead. Now, I'm guessing this is probably not going to be our item room, so we'll fight the boss first, which is also fine. I wonder if Abaddon gives us an extra deal with the Devil Chance. Oh, small rock out of that is actually really good. Continue the productive march towards Ball of Bandages obsolescence. We did get a deal with the Devil again. We don't have Goat Head, so this is, like, really surprising. You had to feel at some point the Krampus fight was coming. But this still gives us a... It, it's guaranteed to give us a chance at something good. Either we get Lump of Coal, or we reroll it into something possibly game-changing. I... I took a shot at it, and I regret it. Let's just be honest about what happened there. I was like, Lump of Coal's good, but what if I could reroll it into a Guppy item? Or Brimstone, or Mom's Knife, or Death's Touch, etc., etc. Instead, I rerolled it into Missing Page 2, which... As far as I'm concerned, is basically a black heart. So, that's subpar. And, in my defense, I don't feel that bad about rerolling Lump of Coal for like the first time in 500 episodes or something like that. We can we can feel reasonably okay about that, I'm sure. But, uh, it definitely didn't work out just reinforcing what it is that makes Lump, coal, lump of Coal have decent. We get Blue Baby's Only Friend again, which is actually just a much better mobile version of uh, Ball of Bandages. It's a, it's a piloted orbital. I got a lot of respect for this item, and it's it's helped me out a great deal. We're going to get down, like, just in time to still be on pace for Boss Rush. We haven't done it in a few episodes, so I'm, I'm tempted, even though it's not necessary. 
Necropolis 1. Okay, land a shot here. And like that. Oh, this is just beautiful. On this floor, we have to... Puberty. On this floor, we have to puberty. No, on this floor, we have to... Um, get rid of credit card. Because we really want to try to get a teleport card on our next... Uh, for our next floor, I should say. Still kind of bereft of that guppy item. By kind of, I mean literally 100%. Strength card is largely meaningless. I feel like I'm kind of asking for the world here, but if you're not going to give me a guppy item, at least give me a deal with the devil on this floor. If you're not going to give me a deal with the devil, at least give me uh, a tears upgrade. Fat odd mushroom is totally fine. Turns out we could use a speed upgrade as well. Um, we don't need anything there too much, at least. And there's going to be some smart Alex in chat. Or in the comments that are going to be like, hey, why are you even picking up, you know, HP plus, uh, plus damage if you're just going to freaking use Blue Baby's only friend to do everything anyway? Well, like, I, I'm hoping to use my tears to do something in the future. For now, I'm just not doing that because Blue Baby's only friend gives us a more defensible option. Cricket's head also helps out. Okay, now, you know, you've got a great point. We may want to start doing that. Hematomesis, huh? Might as well just get a little extra money out of it. We got a lot of extra money out of it, actually. That is just terrible damage. We really need speed and or tears. It's non-essential, but would be very nice indeed. You have no idea how tempting it was or how, how close I came to doing the Michael Caine impression there again. Very close indeed. Now that we have another battery up here. I know that impression is not good, by the way. It's just it's become a part of me now. We'll reroll Magic Finger. Sharp plug. It's okay. Uh, it, it can be amazing for us. At least it gives us a reroll on demand in case we have a lot of HP and just hate uh, an upcoming deal with the devil or something. That seems like a pretty good case to make there. And we're going to be right on schedule for boss rush again. In fact, we might be a little bit ahead of schedule, which is awesome. And the adversary is no slouch, so we can land Bob's brain. I'm amazed we didn't take damage there. We landed Bob's brain. Um, I still feel like Blue Baby's only friend might be the better damage dealer just because we can keep it there consistently Which is is better than like the occasional shot landing. Yeah, it still seems to be working out uh, Blue Baby's only friends favor right now and we got I, I must have picked up goat head right the odds here are just getting too ridiculous um, Tell you what we'll take this and we will take little brimstone even though I'd love to have double the rerolls and I should have credit carded Oh my god, you idiot. You could have saved yourself like three. That's the whole point of having credit card you dummy We still why use it in that situation it still gives us a free deal with the devil and we were still um, Looking for a teleport card for the next floor. So that was stupid of me. I really sh I, I Analyzed the deal with the devil, but I didn't think it through you know, we had an extra little perk there, so we spent like 3 HP we didn't need to spend. Mind you, we're still at a good amount of HP, but uh, I, I deserve to feel like an idiot temporarily for that, for sure. So we found a secret room here. Now, I'm, I'm feeling like with Little Brimstone, we have to have enough damage to be using like Little Brimstone and our tears instead of Bob's brain, instead of um, Blue Baby's only friend. But I'm, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that that's indeed not true um, based on that last room. The other thing is Blue Baby's uh, only friend is more controllable than Little Brimstone. Little Brimstone's kind of like off in its own world right now because it's like four familiars back. Come on, teleport cards. You know the deal. Any, any lifetime now we'll be able to use these. Oh my god. It's embarrassing the lengths that the game will go to not give me a teleport card at this point. Oh, there we go. That could be a Joker, which would be good enough. Card against humanity. Hilarious. Hey, it fills the whole room with poop. <laughs> I guess we'll look for better skulls, because that room's not doing anything. We have had some luck upgrades. At least one. Luck upgrades is probably not a fair statement in that case, but you get the idea. Mm, right, Curse of the Blind. Nine volts. So we've ruined... Sharp plug for the trade-off of getting a faster charge on our D6. Pretty much, I, I consider this relatively equal. I wanted to just dust that room because I was not coming back, so... That's pretty much the way I handle that in real life. 
See you guys. I'm gonna drop some odious vapor in your room. Fart off forever. Um, okay. We can't exit that way. Must be like a boss fight or something. Patrol in the necropolis kind of makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Well, if we've taken that damage, you might as well finish the fight here and stigmata. Stigmata's fine. I will take Wiggle Worm just to heighten the absurdity level. We will very, very slowly make our way through this. So that's got to be a boss beside us. Oh, it is a boss trap room. Okay. Tell you what, we'll check out our cursed room for a guppy item. Got a spirit heart, so it was worth it. It's looking very unlikely we'll be able to do a boss rush. Not that we'd even want to, we'd want to get out, but it's looking very likely we'll even get to see the boss rush room. How are we so much slower now than we were before? Like, this is blowing my mind. Ever since we got Lord of the Pit, we've been slower. Despite having the ability to fly. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I'm not the only one. Not even bothering to take that money. Not as essential as our limited amount of speed right now. Gotta go to our second secret room, though. Uh, it, I, unfortunately, as much as I'd love to keep Wiggle Worm, this is much better for us. Oh, another speed down pill. Hilarious. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Let's just, let's just never, like, move again. That would be just a grand old time. Now we can open golden chests for free. So all we need is, uh, like a guppy's tail item. Wink, wink, game. Wink, wink. Like, you control this completely. Um, okay. Bob's brain's gotta go. More important that we save as much HP as possible than that we, you know, overcommit for boss rush. Knowing we probably don't want to go into it anyway. I call a little bullshit there. I mean, we want to go into it. We just don't want to take whatever's in it. But we will. We'll take a look. Oh, right. It's Curse of the Blind. It doesn't even matter. Oh, okay. We should still be totally fine. Like, this is still good. But every floor that goes by without a speed or a tears upgrade. A little bit more of my soul dies. It's got to be this way. Now, we do have the ability to just stand over rocks. Let little Brimstone do some of the killing for us. I appreciate that a great deal. Should open that. You never know if there's spirit hearts in it. In fact, it would be very sad and silly to lose over something as dumb as just leaving chests behind. That could have had HP in them. So let's at least not let ourselves become another sequel. As uh, Dr. Dre said on Express Yourself. Oh, that's okay. You might think I'm quoting Dr. Dre because perhaps I recently saw Straight Outta Compton. No, that's not true. I was into NWA when they were only one of the world's most influential and top-selling hip-hop acts. I didn't wait for the movie that also did surprisingly well. Hopefully people realize the, the sarcasm laced in there. Cat, hello? I heard you meowing. Meowing for me out in the night. How's it going, Tomo? You alright, buddy? Yeah, that's good. What do you think? Do you think I'm gonna lose or win this run? That seemed like a begrudging win to me, so I'm gonna do my best to make you proud, Tomo. <laughs> it's probably more like, wet food. I'd like wet food. I hadn't considered that proposition. Are you telling me that this wet food that you meow for uh, 16 hours a day for your entire existence, you, you have a tendency to enjoy this? Tomo! Tomo, buddy, I asked you a question for the for the good of the viewers. Oh, uh, no, that's... You don't need to apologize to me. I'll pay the standard rate for your, uh, for your speaking role today. Yeah, you're welcome. If you got another meow, I say Tomo. You say meow Tomo. Tomo. Yeah, when I say Tomo, you say meow Tomo. 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 Yeah, I knew he was going to do it. Now when I say Ruka, you say boo, Ruka. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I live a sad life. All right, locked down after all that. I should have ordered the crab juice. Hey, buddy, I'll, I'll pet you a little bit. Thanks for being part of my elaborate ruse. Um... 
We definitely want the Anzu's rune. What is it, Tomo? Kate's in trouble? Timmy fell in the well? When I say Timmy, you say fell in the well. Timmy! Timmy! Oh my god, somebody call the police. Timmy's fallen into the well! Oh, we lost our eternal heart. This speed down is, is killing me softly with his song, killing me softly. Pause with his song, telling my whole life with his words, killing me softly. You can exit the room if you want. I've, I've freed you from my own prison here. Oh good, we got a range upgrade instead of the HP upgrade. That's very, very smart. Secret room right off the cuff here. Oh good, it's a greed fight. I think we may lose this run. Trying to have more realistic expectations and, and honestly, our incredible lack of speed is just destroying me here. Work with me, work with me, Judgment. I believe in you. Okay, that's cool. Five cents is not a normal expected payout for a judgment anyway. You'd be looking at more like, you know, 11, 13, 15. Doesn't have to be odd, but, you know, we could just we could do that all day. We're going to get a reroll. We're going to see what's in our respective library here. And then we're going to reroll Steam Sale, because otherwise we're not going to do anything else for the rest of this floor except fight Mom's Heart. With only one book in there. I'm skeptical about rerolling that room as opposed to rerolling the steam sale. You might be thinking, well, yeah, you can get like, uh, you can create an item room out of nowhere. Well, we already have an item room out of nowhere, and it's called the secret room where that steam sale exists. So, I think it's in our best interest to just uh, go this way and reroll that instead. In fact, I think it might only pay out with secret room items. I'm not sure how that works. Normally with secret room items, when you reroll them, they give you other secret room items. However, we're in kind of a unique situation. Shouldn't have taken that half heart, but I wanted the money for this guy. Uh, we're in a unique situation where we fought for the uh, for this, this uh, secret room item. So I don't know how it's gonna work out for us, honestly. We'll take a look, though. Samson's chain. With low speed, it comes fucking all the responsibility. There's no way I'm taking this. This is just silly. Um, it would, it would, I don't think it would slow us down anymore, but we're not going to get any use out of it. Book of Secrets. Taught us n nothing whatsoever. Uh, well, very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. Took another opportunity down here. Let me reroll that into a bomb bag. Strawberry cough. Shards of a tangerine. Just in, in died. In died. In died. In died. Obsession is a young man's game. Now that's the best we can do. I mean, we're only at 28 minutes into this run, but it's one of those things that feels longer because I'm like pushing my way through a uh, fucking. Oh my. Grumble, grumble. Pushing my way through like Vaseline to be on every single one of these rooms. Like, it's ridiculous how long it's taking to actually move from place to place. But we're alive! And that's great news. Now, if you could just pop up, pop up, pop up, and we're good. Okay. No, I'm not taking Hookworm. There's. There's no reason to intentionally ruin my run. I've already got enough problems with it as is. As is in I See, I'm already like, when you get into full Michael Caine territory, you don't need to handcuff yourself anymore. Great stuff, good good job. Are you, are you happy with your damage right now? Are you happy with your television provider? I don't want the key. It's not necessary. We don't need it for anything. Bob's rotten head. This room always messes with my perception for like a minute until I realize that it's a big room. Like, why isn't the camera working the way it should? I know the second secret room is that way, but there's no way the boss room is adjacent to it. And I'm indignant at this point. I'm like, I just gotta get down here. Should we reroll? Uh, I guess we should reroll Bob's rotten head because we're headed to the cathedral next anyway. Spider Babby is bad, but it's not bad enough to be salty about. It's just bad enough to be kind of like, eh. Say it with me. Yeah. Feels good. Okay. 
So we're gonna get all the damage done with the little brimstone that we can. Then we're gonna put uh, Blue Baby's only friend on top of Mom here. And we're gonna try to sneak in the occasional uh, shot. I mean, my shots do a decent amount of damage. Just the consistency of the damage from Blue Baby's only friend is more valuable, I think. And uh, if we can ever get a Bob's brain shot in there, that's even better. I'm too slow! Oh my god! I can't believe we made it through that. I'm gonna say basically fuck that judgment back there because he's 45 minutes in our rear view mirror. Ansus. We're one item away from becoming Guppy. Tell you what. Yep, this is perfect. Oh, he chased me down! He's the number one menace for miles around. Oh, fear shot, you, you screwed me a little. Now I don't know where my HP's at. I should still have some, uh, should check that for a uh, red chest, but um, I should still have some spirit hearts left. But we don't know that because of Curse of the Unknown. At least Blue Baby's only friend has given us a, a pretty easy out here. We could just use that and then focus on dodging. Golden chests without a teleportation card. A little risky. Little risky. Little risky. Little risky. Little risky. You can sing it with me, it sounds good. I'm pretty sure that's the tune of Tutti Fruity, I can't remember. Now if you could just uh, stop moving for a greater length of time. Oh, we almost got you. We'll go to our curse room. Pretty much uh, hoping against hope that it's one of two very specific items. But we would take the mark, or the pact, ceremonial robes, there's many items we'd take. Just the guppy ones are the, the big spenders here. The movers and the shakers. Oh lord. Oh, we did it. The dream is real. So we'll become guppy, and not take anything else. I should have at least re-rolled them. That's that's very sloppy play. I don't have much of an excuse for, except that my brain is fried from all of this like pseudo dodging here. But to at least be guppy, that gives us a lot. We have ten lives here, so like I'm I'm pretty sure we're we're set now. Um, but my god, it took us a while to get there. And it's all like it's not even like we picked up terrible items. Bob's brain a little risky at, at worst, but uh, it's all because of this freaking speed down and tears down. If we just didn't have those. We would be totally fine. Like, I would not be complaining about this run at all if I could actually reliably dodge out of enemies' ways. That's pretty much my only issue. And possibly soon, a, a severe lack of HP. But, uh... Let's just take care of this as soon as possible. Oh, that was bad. I'm gonna land Bob's brain. It's very poor damage. With Curse of the Unknown, of course, I gotta freak out. I'm like, I don't know if we have enough... Oh, Jesus. I don't know if we have enough uh, HP to survive this if we get hit again. So let's try not to even, like, bring that into question. We don't need to worry about it in the least. If we can just not take any more damage here. Okay, don't fire Bob's brain at him from so close. Oh, we almost got him. One more set here. Perfect. We're gonna at least live to the chest, hopefully not have a curse, and live our lives. Ooh, they inserted some words here, just live our lives. Now, 2020 does nothing for us, I believe. As much as I hate to do it, I'm going to reroll it. I'm gonna take everything else. This is like the inverse of what I'd normally do here, but I'm pretty sure 2020 doesn't do anything for us. Sagittarius, I'm thinking, is better. Oh, yeah, that was just fantastic right off the bat. Um, we can always hema... No, we can't always hematomesis, but there's a chance we can hematomesis. If we just get a half spirit heart, we can hematomesis. Oh, we're so slow. Then, not that the speed is our problem, like the reason we got hit there. No, that's that's on me. But, um... Our lack of speed is not helping! Oh my god, I got killed and hit. Okay. Now things become very risky. I, sh I still should not lose this run. We're guppy and our damage is too good. This is half the game and half me squandering it. I'll, I'll readily admit that. You know, I don't want to seem like intellectually dishonest about it. That was a, even a bad mushroom uh, bomb there. On my part. Puberty. Health up. Health up is good. Maybe we can health up and then hematomesis. There you go. 
And White Feather is uh, let's focus on the positive. White Feather, great reroll pedestal. One of the best. Missing page two, I think, did some like negative style damage. It's probably not Oh, maybe this room actually can be used to skip uh Oh god. This room might actually be able to be used to skip some of the uh, other rooms. Watch out for Bob's brain. Oh my god, we lived through that. Okay, don't die to this jabroni pony. Uh, we should, we will take that, but we don't need to take it just yet. I'd rather use that for uh, for the boss fight if we can, because it does give us an extra hit either way. This is better. We're making progress. We got a reroll to use on White Feather. For some reason, he did not shoot, and my life has never been greater. Oh. Okay, Taurus, our speed, oh my god, our speed is so bad. It was already bad. I will pick that up now, because I may need it sooner rather than later. Um, you know what? Yes. I think we are slightly faster as a result of that. We may have chosen properly on rooms here. Um, this, is, this is the obvious one. You kill Ultra or Super Pride last for the increased chance of getting 18 lives. Which at this point we would really benefit from. Instead we get a Joker card. Which we'll wait until we have a reroll ready and then we'll go buck wild on that because that could be really useful actually. Bob's brain is ready so be careful. It's flies and spiders territory. Good. My reflection is just weird at this point so I'm gonna take it. Yes, that's important to get the kill before he even gets a chance to shoot. Revenge Fly uh, probably will do nothing for us, but because it's passive, I'm going to roll with it. And we're going to have a reroll ready for our boss fight. Or for our, our devil room before the boss fight. Plus, we'll have Remote Detonator, which we could also reroll if we have to. But first, Spirit Hearts. Oh, what the, the heck? <laughs> well, does, nothing happens if we take Guppy's head in at this point. So we might as well just re-roll them both. And we'll take them both in, and I think that's going to be valuable. We'll get the damage bonus. And now we should be basically unkillable. Um, I don't think we got lucky on this run. I think we played worse than we should have. But still, the run was decent enough that we survived regardless. So, uh, I'll, I'll just chalk that up as a learning experience that never should have been one in the first place. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.